What is going on everyone? Leon checking in. And today I want to make a video on how to edit a video on a Chromebook. Now this video was hard to do because I was literally editing a video in a video and it kind of got confusing. So anyways, I wanted to do this video because I've seen videos in the past about editing videos on a Chromebook and a, a lot of times it just didn't work out. And if it did work out, it was really more trouble than it was worth. But now we have access to the Google Play Store so we can download apps to edit videos on the Chromebook. So, th so this is now something that's possible to do. So with that being said, in order for this to work, you are gonna need access to the Play Store beta on your Chromebook. And the app that I'm going to be using is called Power Director. Now this app does have a lot of features and I didn't wanna go over everything because if I would've went over everything, this would have been a really long video. So I just went over the basic stuff that I felt people would use the most. So really it's up to you to experiment and see what works for you and try it out and put your own little spin on it. So let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So we are going to start by opening the Play Store and doing a search for Power Director. And as you can see, there's going to be quite a few apps that show up and it's going to be this first one here. Now, Power Director, it is available as a free version, but I went ahead and purchased the full version because it has added features and it works so good that I wanted to go ahead and support the app developer. Now, before we go ahead and open the app and get started, I do recommend creating a separate folder for your video clips, and this can easily be done in File Manager. And once you create that folder, you can drag your clips into that folder and that way they'll be easy to find in the video editor. When you first open the Power Director app, you're going to want to go ahead and click create a new project to start editing and give your video a title. Now that we're at the main screen here, you can see that folder we created earlier is right here and that's going to make it easy to find our video clips. Adding a video clip is pretty easy. You just go into the folder where your video clip is and you can drag it to your timeline and it'll automatically load up and it happens pretty quick. The one flaw that I did find with this video editing app is that there is no audio signature in the video clip which can make editing a video somewhat challenging if you're trying to cut at that point where you stop talking and resume at the point where you start talking again. So on these video clips that you import, you can hear the audio, but there is no audio signature. And it would be nice just to have that audio signature. You can edit the videos without it, and you'll eventually get used to it, but it would be nice to have. Once your video clip is imported, you can go ahead and use touch controls to scroll left and right through the video clip. Of course, you can use the keyboard, but I found the touch controls to be more beneficial. To make a cut in your video, you're just going to let the video play and pause it at a point where you would like to cut it. You'll get a blue line that shows up where the cut will occur and you tap on the timeline of the video and you click the cut icon on the top left there and you'll get a cut in your video. Instead of pausing the video at the point where you would like the cut to occur, you can also scroll to a point where you would like to make a cut and again that'll be where the blue bar lines up and you're going to perform the same functions as you did in the previous clip. Once you've made the necessary cuts that you needed to, you can go ahead and delete a section by tapping on it and hitting the trash can icon on the top left here and that'll get rid of that whole section. You can also edit a video clip in quite a few ways by just tapping on the video clip itself and clicking this pencil icon here and as you can see we will have a list of things we can do. I want to go ahead and add a fade in here so I can just enable that and that will allow the video clip here to fade in when it starts to play. Now you can also add little things to your video and we're going to start with text and that's done by clicking this icon on the top left here and then we're going to go ahead and click text. Now as you can see the software is preloaded with lots of text options and we're just going to pick one to throw in there. Now you can also change the duration of the text by expanding it and you can also change the positioning of the text by moving it to anywhere you'd like in the video. The nice thing about this software is you can also add picture in picture and this can be done with either a video or an image. 
Once you find the image you would like to use, simply add it to your timeline. Just like any of the other features that can be added on top of your video, you can drag this feature to wherever you would like, and you can also change the duration of it by expanding it. And you can also change the positioning of it just like the text, and you can drag it and rotate it to wherever you would like. You can also add stickers on top of your video by navigating into the same menu as you did for the text and the image. Now these stickers you're going to have to download by clicking get more, but once you have them they'll show up here and you can just click them and add them to the video such as I did with this like. And then you'll just move it wherever you would like just like the other features that can be added into your video and you can perform the same functions. You can also add an effect to the video clip that you have already selected by clicking on the FX icon and choosing an effect from the FX menu and adding it to your video to change what that video is going to look like. Adding a voiceover or music to your project is just as easy as adding another video clip. You're just going to go to this screen here and click on that music icon. So as you can see all our music will be stored here and we'll have an option for voiceover on the left. But I'm going to scroll over here to the right. I have a music folder called YouTube Audio Library, and that's where I store all my music. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And then I'm going to click on the track that I'm interested in. And then I can go ahead and click it again and click the plus sign, and that will add the track to this video. Once your video is almost finished, you can go ahead and start production by clicking this icon in the bottom right hand corner. And as you can see, you're going to have quite a few options to choose from to help produce your video. I personally like to save my video to the gallery or SD card, and then I upload that to YouTube later. Now this is the downside to this app. The processing does take some time. You're going to want to leave your Chromebook alone. But that's only one thing, so it's really not that bad, but it does produce a pretty good video that can be uploaded to whatever social media site you choose. So that is pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, make sure you leave those below. And also, if you like, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to continue to put out more videos so we can go ahead and figure out things. And until next time, Leon checking out.